up guys this is silent scope and i'm back um i'm going to show you actually how to get um, ps2 emulator running with cbs2 now um with that actually has online play already set up um there's a few more things you need to download um but it's, it's still a pretty fairly simple setup to do so let's get started on that so same thing you're going to go to the same discord uh discord website i'll put a link in the description and I actually have this guy here, so it might be able to show you actually the connect thing, so that'd be good. So, click on the link to go to the PS PCSX2 tutorial. You can click here to actually go to the download link. And you download it here. I already have, just so you don't have to watch me download it. Um, as you can see, same name. Um, they do have a newer version on, from the people who make it, but I don't know if it has online play already set up. So, I just use this. It works. So I would just go with that. The next thing you need to do is you're gonna need to find the BIOS pack. Now they don't link it. I don't think I can, so I'm not going to. But basically, um, do what it says here: search PCSX2 BIOS, and it should be the first link you find. It should say IO Zone and all that kind of stuff, and you should find it there. Um, the next thing you'll need to do is you need to download the game uh, with the ISO file to find it. So the easiest one I found is CVS2 PS2 ISO in Google, first one there as well, and you download those, you get Capcom Mark Millennium, that's, this, that's the game file, and then you get the PlayStation BIOS pack. And that's basically what you need to start off with. And so we'll go from there. First thing we're going to do, we're going to extract this out. First we're going to make a new folder for it, just like we did before. We'll just call it PS2 to make it simple. Extract this out. Two. And extract everything there. Close that. And I'm just going to go in here real quick. As you can see, we don't have any BIOS. You know, debunk it. So, you're supposed to get it out of a PS2, actual PS2 system. I guess there are ways to rip it out. Uh, you can, like I said, you can just find it on Google. Um, you actually do have memory cards, and I'll actually show you how to mess with those um, in a little bit. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the BIOS. So. You're just going to extract this out to desktop, it has its own folder, so don't have to worry about anything else. Close that out. We'll delete this empty folder since we're just going to replace it. And place that back in there, all should be good. And we're real quickly going to extract this out to the desktop. Decently sized file, should take a couple seconds though. And that's pretty much it. That's then you're pretty much set up. There's some minor tweaks in the PS2 emulator, which I'll show you to get this running and also how it runs uh, online. So hopefully with uh, my computer can run um, capturing and playing the game. So we'll see how that goes. First thing you're going to need to do though is always, so you can, if you want to do it by hand, you can just always, you always want to run this as administrator. Best thing to do is to have it. So you always run it as administrator. If you don't, it won't run. You started the game. It just won't, it will give you an error of some kind. All right, and it won't work. So always have that, always have that happen. Um, Compatibility-wise, don't have to worry about it. I went on Windows 10; it works just fine, so no worries there. So we'll continue there. Um, don't think there's anything else I need to do except start this sucker up. Um, you didn't see that because I needed to tell it to. Yes, I need want to run it from the administrator. Okay. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do some configging. Um, first thing is if you go here, it says to uncheck this, skip MPEG hack. Um, to get there, let me just show that real again real quick. Go to config, emulation settings, go to game fixes, and uncheck that. Basically, it's so everybody's on the same page. If someone has it checked and someone doesn't, you guys will not connect and desync and all that kind of stuff. So it's just easier if everybody's on the same page with that. Apply there. Next thing we're going to fig. We could do memory cards. I'll do that in a second. Um, plugins. So here's all your plugins. Um, you can find other ones online, I'm sure. Um, maybe updated ones, but these run just fine, so I'm just going to keep them the same. BIOS. So the BIOS pack has a pack of them. So you can actually run it using Europe, Japan, USA version. Most of you run it on this. It doesn't matter as long as the person you're playing against runs the same version. I played somebody who had an older version of PCSX, PCSX2 who had like this version, and I ran that against them, and it worked just fine. As long as whoever you're playing against has the same version, it'll run. So no worries there. Folders are just looking at the folders. It just used the fault. Don't worry about those. Apply that. Okay. 
going to um, oh one thing I want to do in here um, this is I'm just gonna config the window here just to make it a little bit bigger otherwise you get screen size that big resolution 1280 we'll do that I'm not gonna do my full screen always I'm not gonna be able to show you some other stuff 720 Y K video plugin settings uh, I'm gonna change this direct to direct duty 11 because I can I'm not gonna do anything in here keep it native um, if you want to change stuff in here you can I don't mess with it because I don't want to mess it up <laughs> uh, audio I don't touch you can if you want if you have some special you might have to do some special thing if you're streaming I guess I don't know but that's where you can pick audio controller this one's simpler than the other one you don't have to guess this is a PS2 controller so just click pad clear all and click square which one you want square to be triangle X circle give it a second after you click it otherwise it won't uh, register select start and this is fierce and roundhouse then up left right and down Ta -da! and that's all you need to that um, you can do some other stuff in here if um, so for instance this is finding my this is finding like the devices connected so it's finding my quan but all that kind of stuff so uh, if you want to do if you have a second pad you want to connect to it that's how you set that up all that kind of stuff um, there's some more stuff in here but I don't mess with it so I actually have an Xbox 360 controller so that's why that's checked so cool um I don't mess with anything else in here like I said we'll do with memory cards in just a sec let me just get everything else running um, so next you need to select the actual game so you ISO selector browse if you have multiple games this is where you do it that and now when you look at it it's selected that means you got it there so first thing you want to do is we're gonna fiddle with some memory card stuff here the reason why is because if both of you if someone has a memory card inserted and someone doesn't and you actually have some data on there it can desync you because your game will will look at the memory card and his won't and then so you'll desync right basically right from the game so so to do that you just click on this and you hit eject if you want to put it back in hit insert it and you can put it in any slot and you can actually create a new one and you know, 8 byte megabyte whatever you want and here we'll create it and if I want to I can actually insert that into that and so this is not formatted so I'll actually show you how to do that this one actually is which is strange to me but in any case um, we'll keep these inserted for now I'll take them out in a second um, just so I can show you that so to do that for the ISO this is will run the actual disk we're gonna do no disk so we'll run basically the main PS2 uh, menu now it might get loud and I apologize I don't know how this is going to work here let me see if I can tell it to I'm gonna bring that down a lot. Almost want to. I almost want to mute it, but we'll keep that like that. Okay, we'll see if that works or not. I don't know how that works with capturing, so we'll see. Cool. Okay, that doesn't seem too loud, and hopefully you can hear me. Last time I did this with the demo, I didn't realize you couldn't hear me through the thing. Now for some reason it's in Spanish, but that's okay. Let's go configure system. Um, also, make sure you, since I'm on a laptop, make sure you tell it to run it uh, with your graphics, with your high-end graphics card. Mine's already told it to do that. Um, so we're going to change it to, there you are, to less. There we go. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about time and all that stuff. So go to browser. Hey, look, we have memory cards. So like I said, this one's already formatted. It actually has some info on it. So we're going to just delete it. Like I said, you can, you actually have, you can save data and stuff on there. So we're going to go back. This one, if you want to add a new one, you want to format it? Yes. And then we'll format it. And that's it. Yes, I know there's no data. Thank you. And that's it. That's, and so you now have memory cards, so you can save your data and all that kind of stuff if you want. So we're going to close out of here. Um, we're going to eject those. Okay, oops, and so does that again. That was, I don't know why it does that, that's interesting. Huh, anyways. Um, so now we're going to actually run it with the ISO. Yes, I want to, yes, I want to swap the disk. 
Um, we're gonna run a pull. Yes, so basically resetting, basically saying you know you change the settings and stuff. If you want to keep it that way, that's fine. Now I'm gonna show you the game running. If you can't hear me, I'm probably not saying anything special over the sound of the game, so no worries there. Oh, and I'll show you the menu. Um, basically, this will pop up. Memory card is required to save data. Would you like to start without saving? Yes. If you have data there, it'll give you a different dialog box and you will automatically desync. So that's where that can happen. So, in any case, let me do that. Let me just show you the game real quick. I'm just going to survival mode. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but. Do, 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 do. We'll see if I can actually get her fun combo. Dude, come here. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. No? Really? Wow. Okay. Hit me again, please. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Fine. Didn't think that would kill, but anyways. Anyways, that's the game running. Don't know if you could hear me or not. Hopefully you could, but in any case, so that's the game running. So I'm going to show you actually it running on Netplay now. So. Okay, so how this game runs. So how this game runs is similar to how demo runs in online. One person hosts and one person connects. Um, there is no um, what's it called? There's no uh, servers for this, so you just do P2P. So boot net play. So I'm going to be hosting, and I think it's best to have a read-only memory card. I think, but even if we don't, have, we don't have a memory card. So, so how he's gonna do is, I already gave. He should already have my IP. If not, I will have to send it to him again. Um, but he will stick in my IP into here. You don't have to stick in the port numbers. I already told him what port it is, so he has those selected. And so I'm just gonna host. And so right now it's waiting. Oh yes. Forgot about that. So if it connects, right, you'll get a different dialog box. Cool. It does have my IP, so I don't have to show it. I'm live on video. That's good. Um, do, do, do. There it is. All right. So now you select the input delay. He's in Oklahoma, so three is fine. Three is decent. Four, you feel it quite a bit. Five pretty, is pretty harsh. Um, this is, um, what's it called? This is, this is Kylera. So this is input delay instead of GGPO stuff. So, so we both should have our memory cards ejected. So it's syncing our memory card stuff and it should boot up. Ta-da. So anybody can move it at this point, but I'm just moving it. And if you can't hear me over the sound, I'm sorry, but Ooh, again, what the hell? All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me. And and you should see him moving. Ta-da! Hey, look at that. We got net play. And we'll see how this runs with me actually running it. So. So like I said, this runs decently well. It looks nice for P with the PS2. Yes, there is roll canceling in this version. And I don't have any other online stuff, right? Hopefully. Should be good. Now, you might see some hiccups and stuff. Yeah, 
I can still feel the delay a little bit, but I can get JD. Oops, wrong button. Oh, wrong direction, really. Ah, just time it. Ow! And we'll just do one game, just so I don't make this video too long. I don't know how long it'll take for me to upload it, or if this encoder thing will run that long. Oh, I didn't want that. What the hell? What? Oh, I got me with a level one. This game. I wish it was. I wish it was more accessible. Oh, it didn't give it to me. Oh, I forgot. Nice. Oh. It's hurting. It hurts. And I'm almost dizzy. I gotta watch it. Oh, didn't punish. Oh. Oh, I GD that. And most of the people on here don't know how to roll cancel. I met like one person who could and could do it well. So All right, I'm just going to close it real quick. All right, so that's it running online. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, you have trouble, let me know in the video um, comments, and I will do my best to reply. In the meantime, hope you guys see you around. Um, this guy's on, apparently. And so I'll be on a little bit more if I can. And talk to you later.